Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Let me ask you this. Uh, you, being that you spar with uh, uh, Earl, uh, Earl Spence. Earl Spence. How did that happen? Earl Spence Jr. How did you end up doing that? Oh, what, what, man. I mean, how many times you and him got whooped over there trying to get in the ring <laughs> like that? A lot of times, <laughs> <laughs> a lot of time. I got my good days too, though. Like, I already you, know hey, you can't tell Lowe's because hey, he's a champion. You yeah, can't even talk about if that. You asked him, he ain't going to say, oh, he'll push over, none of that. He's going to say, yeah, dude can fight. Like, wow. that, that dude can fight. But this is the thing. We've been fighting each other all our lives. Like, yeah. like he's been a rival of mine since we was kids. The rivalry broke by the time he went to the Olympics, didn't Because I quit boxing. Like I just Oh, so you used to box him on the streets? I know we fought amateur together. Oh, amateur! You yeah. and him, and, and did he whoop you or yeah. you won? I, I feel like I beat him the first time. <laughs> they took the first it from time. You. I feel like they took it These from you. Niggas me. took it from him. You got the tape. I, I feel nah, I ain't got the tape. Damn. <laughs> he said he got the tape. I say put it out. Put the tape out uh, then. But it was a pretty close fight. It could have went either way. Like he said he went one. I say I won. It is what it is. But it was a good fight. It was it was crunk. But like the second and third fight, by the time he started going to go spoil with Floyd, make one all them other guys. Yeah, yeah. Why well, he came back and he beat the. Not I'm, <laughs> beat my, I'm talking about he beat me bad one time. I was like, he beat me up so bad. We fighting like we in the in the ring. This is a real fight. Judges, everybody around. We fighting. We going at it the first round. By this time, I'm like, man, this dude different. Somebody. Second round, second round come out. He hit me to the body, and I'm just like, he walk you down. I'm, I'm I see that nigga I'm, walking people down all the time. He look, he hit me to the body. I'm losing um uh, stamina. I'm I like, I can't breathe by this time. Mm -hmm. I'm like, golly. Like, he say, in the middle of the fight, no joke, I am not lying. He jabbed at me. He say, Jarvis. I said, what? You ain't been training right now. <laughs> <laughs> in the middle of the fight. In the middle of the fight. We fighting like in the middle. Everybody, and nobody knows this and, but y'all. Yeah, and he's jabbing me right here. And he say, like he go in for like a little body shot. Boom. And he lean in. Boom. Jarvis. I say, what? You ain't been training right now. I said, <laughs> Nah. <laughs> I said, don't take it light on me, though. <laughs> Come on. He kind of took it light on me, backed off me a little bit. Yeah. You know? That's like, dope, man. That and y'all, But but it was some times after that where you figured it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it's the, the, like, I didn't really figure him out. I never got a chance to figure him out in the amateurs. Like, in the okay. amateurs, he was just the better. Better. Like, but I ain't going to even say he was the better fighter. He was just more. He had a better trainer? He, it wasn't even that. He was more hungrier. Like, oh, okay. like he started doing things that we wasn't doing. Do like it. we, we would, we started getting our minds. I think what distracted. Messed, yeah, I think what messed me up was girls. There it is. Mm -hmm. like Every I think, time. I think, I think the first time a girl called me cute, that's what. Like, <laughs> it was over. It was over. <laughs> uh, he has he cute. I think that. I think that's what messed me up because I started like just trying to talk to girl after girl after girl after girl, and he kind of stayed focused. Yeah. So yeah. Like. And he was doing the extra miles, the extra running. Running, yeah. Y'all got to run all day. Yeah, he was doing. Extra and you stuff. didn't have nobody to pull you up and be like, get your heads out of the clouds. See, Come I, had on. My, I had my brother, but by the time I figured out he was my brother, it's like, I ain't got to listen to this dude. You got to listen to this. Yeah. Yeah, I'm so, the baby boy, too. I, man, come on. And then, like, he got his dad. So it's just like, it's a different thing. Like, it's a different feel. You got your dad. Like, that's your dad. He snatched you up. Yeah. My brother, he, he snatched me up. Mama! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so let me ask you about... But uh, why did, no, but why did you stop? Why didn't you um try to pursue boxing? He's, and still, come? he's still boxing. So I started back. No, I'm talking, he stopped at that time, because what he was saying, you okay, said so you stopped. I, yeah, I stopped because, uh, like... Uh, it was a few fights that I thought I won as an amateur that I didn't get the decision. And I was like, man, this is politics. Like, it's just like, like either I'm fighting somebody whose um, fighter is cool with the refs or this and that and this. And I know I'm beating these guys. How am I not getting the decision? So, um, like, tournaments that will qualify you for certain things, mm -hmm. I didn't get to compete in it. Right. EJ got to compete in it. You know, and I was just like, I ah, forget boxing. I, I just, but I always stayed around some type of way, whether I was still hitting a bag or running or something like yeah. that. Yeah. So, like, I retired like from amateur boxing. When I was like twenty years old, probably like mm. nineteen years old. EJ went on to the Olympics. Yeah, he went on everywhere. <laughs> went on to the Olympics, turned pro. This is crazy. I quit boxing because of this guy I told him this. I quit boxing because of this guy because I couldn't beat him as an amateur. Mm -hmm. so I just quit boxing. I was like, man. Earl Spence? Yeah. I don't say his name. Yeah. The nigga made EJ, you retire. That's, that's yeah. his EJ. The nigga made you retire? I, I couldn't beat him. That as, nigga put them hands on you made you it wasn't, retire? It wasn't, it wasn't a thing that I had to retire. It was just like, I, like he, like he okay, like in, in boxing, you have regional, state, and nationals. Mm -hmm. My nationals was Dallas because he was here. 
You right. get what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. He would go out and beat the whole national team. So it's like you regionals, then the state is then that's the, all the people from the regionals that won and they part and then they meet up at state. Then all the people at state meet up at nationals. That's when everybody right. fight. That's all the good people from each state. Wow. He beat everybody, but he was also in my city to keep me from going. Wow. So like like so I could never meet this guy at state or meet this guy at nationals and that. So he kept me from going. Yeah, which I felt I like it. so I feel like I could have beat anybody. And possibly been ranked number two at least. You know? Yeah, <laughs> but I couldn't get, <laughs> get past the number one right. guy because he was, he was, was here. Yeah, he was here. Well yeah, we on Boss Talk One on One.